For Reflection Relay Part 2, this is the two-dimensional uh, Reflection Relay Part. And uh, the students will uh, need to reflect a beam of light off of anywhere from one to four mirrors in order to hit the target, hopefully the center of the target. They get to choose how many mirrors they want to use, but obviously the more mirrors you use, the better your score will be. Now, when they come into the, uh, into the tournament, they will have already set up on their table a piece of paper that looks like this. It's one and a half by three feet long, and it will be taped down to their desk or to their table that they'll be using. And they will, they can do anything they want to this mirror, they can, or to this paper. They can write on it, they can tape on it, they can do whatever they want with it. Also set up will be a laser. And the laser is going to be attached down to the table. And I just use sticky tack, but you can also use, you know, masking tape to get it put down nice and sturdy so that it will not move. So that's pretty sturdy right there. Now, what you'll need to do is to make sure that that laser is uh, lined up with, uh, that the line of the laser is going parallel. You'll need to turn it on and we can see that obviously this it's going crooked. So what I did is I put the um, uh, target temporarily over here and I'm going to make adjustments to my laser and I can turn the end of the laser until I can see that the line is going pretty straight. So that looks pretty straight. So now I know my laser is set up correctly. So what the next thing I need to do with the laser then is to put a six inch head start line ready for them to use. And what I'll do is I'll start at the base of the laser and I'll go right along that line that was made by the, that's made by the laser and I will give them a six inch head start line. Now I can turn the laser off. So that six inch head start line will give the, the team a start to know where that beam of light is going. The last thing I will do is I will place the target somewhere along the outside of the piece of paper. Notice the laser is on the outside of the paper somewhere along the perimeter and so will the target. So I just put a couple pieces of sticky tack on the bottom and then I attach it to the outside, not on top of the paper but to the outside of the paper. So it is now set up. This is what the kids will see when they come into uh, the Science Olympiad tournament. And you as a coach will need to also set this up for them to practice too. This is what you need to do to get them ready for them to practice. Now, so now that it's all set up, the kids will need to figure out how they are going to get that beam of light from this laser to the target. They also need to figure out, as a team, how many mirrors they intend to use. For today's purposes, I'm only going to use one of the mirrors, so I'm going to put three of the mirrors off to the side. Now, as the kids are working, notice that the laser is off, and it will remain off until the event supervisor turns it back on. So the kids do not turn on or turn off the laser. That is not their job to do that. The kids will need to figure out how are they going to get that beam of light from here to there. 
they can bring any materials they choose to bring with them, with the exception of another light source. They can't bring a light source to help them figure it out. So any materials that they need, they can bring with them. So they're going to, for this purpose, we're going to use the one mirror, but we need to figure out, we know that beam of light is coming this way, and we know we want it to reflect off of this mirror and hit hopefully the center of the target. But where do I put this mirror? Well, there's two properties of light that the kids should know in order to do reflection relay. And the first one is that light travels in a straight line. And we know that because I already gave you a head start line there. And the other thing that the kids need to know is that when light is reflected off of a flat mirror, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. And what that means is when the beam of light comes in and hits the mirror at say a 30 degree angle, it will reflect off of the mirror on the opposite side at a 30 degree angle to the other side. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. So knowing that property of light, they should be able to figure out how to get how to set up this mirror so that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection and it'll hit the center of that target. Now they can bring with them anything they choose. I have had students bring string and they would tape string trying to figure out okay we want the beam of light to do this and then we want the beam of light to go this way and they would actually tape the string right down planning out there what they want the beam of light to do using string. That was a technique I've seen some students use. I've seen some students use um, uh, shish kebab skewers and they plan out what do they want that beam of light to do. I have had students that simply used pencil and erase or a pencil and a ruler and they've, you can draw right on here if you choose to do so, and they figured out their plan, what they wanted that beam of light to do, just by using pencil and ruler. So, once the kids have figured out what they want to use, they'll need to figure out their plan. We want this beam of light to go in this direction, and then we want it to go in this direction since we're only using one mirror today. So there's our plan. Obviously their plan using four mirrors will be a whole lot more complicated than this. So now comes the question, how do you figure out where, we know we want the mirror here, but at what angle? And that's where you can use a protractor to help you figure that out. Now you can, get protractors off of the uh, Science Olympiad website. There's all kinds of protractors there, different sizes depending on what you want to use, but we have them available for you on the Science Olympiad website. So we have, we've figured out what we want to do. I'm going to figure out my angles. This is the vertex of the angle. It goes right here and I measure and I, I just set it down, let's see how I did. I have the angle of incidence being 47 degrees. Wow, I did pretty good. And the angle of reflection is 46 degrees. I did pretty good on that one. So I just need to make a slight adjustment. And it looks like I'm at 47 and a half for the angle of incidence, 47 and a half for the angle of reflection. So I now know that my mirror needs to go at this angle right here. So I set it up. And I do believe I have it set up properly. Now again, if you're using four mirrors, it's going to take a lot longer than that. You have, the kids have five minutes to set up, hopefully four mirrors. So they have to work as a team to set it up and figure out uh, figure out what they want the beam of light to do and figure out the angles of all the mirrors that they uh, that they 
want to uh, use in order to hit the target. So again, as the kids are working, the laser is turned off. The kids will have five minutes to work together as a team to figure out how to place their mirrors. But once that five minutes is up, the event supervisor will say, hands off. And the kids, I recommend the kids, put their hands up and back off so that there is no uh, miscommunication and no wondering did they actually touch it or not because you don't want to be disqualified for touching it after they say hands off. Alright so the event supervisor will come and will turn on the laser to see what your score looks like and as we can see we did hit the um, mirror and it did reflect off in this direction and we did pretty good. We want to get to the center of the, one of the two center sections of the target. So we did very good. And uh, if you ended up on the two outside sections, uh, you know, that's good too, but it's not as good as being in the center. If you look at the rules from this uh, for reflection relay, this got bumped. If you look at the rules for reflection relay, it will explain to you the scoring and how hitting the center of the target gives you a higher multiplier than hitting the outside of the target. So refer to the rules from this year's reflection relay. Now, there is a possibility of there being a barrier somewhere as the kids are working. So the event supervisor may put a barrier right in the middle and the kids will have to work around that barrier. Obviously, the barrier cannot be moved by the kids. The target will not be able to be moved by the kids. The uh, laser cannot be moved by the kids. So really, the only thing the kids are moving are the four mirrors and anything that they may have brought with them. So I hope you enjoy Reflection Relay. It really is a fun event, and uh, hopefully you learn a lot about light and the properties of light as you're working on it.